Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics with Shahab Yaqub. Now let's get started with some basic trigonometry and the focus will be on exact trigonometric ratios. So let's get started with the very very basic which is a right angle triangle. I have drawn the base. I have drawn the vertical height and now I'm drawing the hypotenuse. So first of all, let me focus on the base with an orange color. Let me focus on the height with the green color and let me focus on the hypotenuse with blue color. So there are three sides to a triangle that is very obvious triangle. And the second obvious thing is triangle. The story is about three angles. The first angle is this one that is the 90 degree angle opposite to 90 degrees is the hypotenuse and if I label this angle as theta with respect to theta the opposite is the green side people also call it the perpendicular and people also refer to it as the height. But I personally prefer referring with respect to the angle and opposite is the best terminology that I can think of. Again, with respect to theta, the side closest to theta, that is the adjacent side. And it's also referred to as the base. So now we know the basic trigonometric ratios. So let me draw another triangle. This time I label the horizontal actually the adjacent side with orange color and then I have the green color for the perpendicular and then I'm using the blue color for the hypotenuse. So now let me label this angle as theta. This is 90 degrees. This is opposite. This is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. What is sine of theta that is opposite over hypotenuse? What is cosine of theta that is adjacent over hypotenuse? And last but not the least, tangent of theta that is opposite over adjacent. So that is the basic math that you have already studied. Now, what I'll do is that let me draw a triangle in which this is the base then this is the height and this one is the hypotenuse and this time I'm labeling this angle as 30 degrees I'll go to the calculator I'll plug in 30 degrees I'll evaluate sine of 30 degrees which is half that means the opposite side is 1 and the hypotenuse which is in blue color that is 2. Can I calculate the base? Of course I can because we are dealing with a right angle triangle. 2 square is equals to 1 square plus b square, 4 equals to 1 plus b square, 3 equals to b square therefore b comes out to be square root of 3 or root 3 or under root of 3. So the base, the value of the base is square root of 3. Now from this single diagram, what else can I calculate? I was given the information that sine of 30 is half. Now I can write down by looking at the diagram cosine of 30 which is adjacent or the base over the hypotenuse. So that is square root 3 over 2. And last but not the least, I can write tangent of theta, which is 1 over root 3, which simplifies to root 3 over 3 in the rationalized form. Now, is there anything else that I can make use of in this particular diagram? The answer is yes. There is this angle, which is 60 degrees. If this angle is 90 degrees, naturally the other two angles should add up to 90 degrees. If this is 30 degrees, therefore this is 60 degrees. So now let me just create more space for myself. 
and now I can write the three trigonometric ratios related to 60. Now, first of all, what is the opposite of the 60 degree angle? Opposite of the 60 degree angle is root 3 because it's right in front of 60 degrees. The hypotenuse still remains as 2. So the hypotenuse is opposite of 90 degrees. That is still 2 units. And the adjacent side for 60 degrees is 1. Now remember that sine is related with opposite. Of course, it's also related to hypotenuse. But if I compare sine and cosine, cosine is related to adjacent. Now, without even looking at the diagram, I can see that for 60 degrees, the opposite is root 3. So I'll write sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over something. What is that something? That is the hypotenuse, which is 2. Similarly, cosine is related with adjacent. Adjacent has a value of 1. Therefore, cosine of 60 degrees is 1 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2. And last but not the least, that is tangent of 60 degrees, which is based upon opposite and adjacent, which is root 3 over 1. So now I have used this to calculate all these trig ratios. Just have a good look at it. We got started with sine of 30 degrees, which is half. I labeled 1 over here. I labeled 2 over here. I used Pythagoras. I evaluated the value of B, the value of adjacent, which is root 3. The measurements are quoted according to the angle. With respect to 30, this is opposite. With respect to 30, this is adjacent. 90 degree is creating the largest length in a triangle that is called the hypotenuse. So therefore, sine 30 is half, cosine 30 is root 3 over 2, tangent 30, that is opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over root 3. This is the rationalized form. Similarly, if this angle is 30, the top angle is 60 degrees. For 60, the opposite is root 3. So therefore, sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. For 60 degrees, the adjacent is 1. So cosine of 60 degrees is 1 over 2. For 60 degrees, the opposite is root 3, adjacent is 1, so tangent of 60 is root 3 over 1, that's right over here. There is also some other observation which we will study in more detail a little bit later, just raising a little bit of the curiosity level that the sine of 60, isn't it equal to cosine of 30? Cosine of 60 equals to sine of 30. Tangent of, I have written theta over here by mistake. So let me just correct myself. So this is not theta and that is a big one. So let me just go back and use a small eraser. So therefore, I think, uh, let me just press this. And now it's a small eraser like this. So now this is sine of tangent of 30 degrees. That is... Uh, 1 over root 3 and that's a little bit thicker just ignore that and tangent of 60 degrees is root 3 over 1 they are reciprocals of one another so now let me get back to the original size and let's go up and let's get started with some more angles so now let me draw another diagram this time i'm creating a base I'm creating a height such that they are equal. And then I have an isosceles triangle right over here. Let's say this one is one unit. So let me write one over here. Let me write one over here. The green and the orange line are perpendicular. This is the hypotenuse. Pythagoras theorem. H square is one square plus one square h square is equals to 2, h is equals to square root of 2 under root of 2. Now this angle and this angle will be equal. Why? Because it's an isosceles triangle. This is 45 degrees, so is this. That means with respect to 45 degrees, I can calculate sine of 45, cosine of 45 and 
tangent of 45 degrees. Now, for this 45 degrees, this one is the opposite. For this 45 degrees, this one is the adjacent and the hypotenuse, it's already evaluated as square root of 2. Sine is associated with opposite, so 1 over square root of 2, that is the value of sine 45. Cosine 45 is also 1 over root 2 because adjacent and opposite are the same. Therefore, the value of sine and cosine is the same. And tangent of 45 is 1 over 1. Also, 1 over root 2 can be rationalized and written as root 2 over 2. Let me write root 2 over 2 over here. And 1 over 1 can simply be written as 1. So what have we achieved so far? Let me list it down. So I think it's a good idea if I draw a table over here and uh, let me get started with this table. Let me change the color to white. And in this table, let me draw a line like this. And I need to write this thing, which is angle 30 degrees and then 45 degrees and then 60 degrees. And then let me write over here sine and this is cosine and this is tangent. So let me get started with 30 degrees. Sine of 30 is half. Cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. Tangent of 30 is 1 over root 3. I deliberately I am writing it in the unrationalized form. Now if I talk about 60 degrees, sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Cosine of 60 is 1 over 2. Tangent of 60 is root 3 over 1. Again, sine of 30 is the same thing as cosine of 60. Cosine of 30 is the same thing as sine of 60. Tangent of 30, tangent of 60, they are reciprocals of one another. Let's continue. For 45 degrees, sine of 45, that is 1 over root 2. Cosine of 45, that's 1 over root 2. Tangent of 45 is 1. So this is the basic trigonometry in degrees that we have done. Now, you are well aware of the conversion between degrees and radians. Radians is another unit and we use radians in AS level maths, A level maths. We know that 30 degrees is pi by 6 radians. We know that 45 degrees is pi by 4 radians and 60 degrees is pi by 3 radians. These are the three most common angles that you will come across in trigonometry. So I think it's a good idea. So also create another table over here using the ratios using the angle and radians. So again, let me just draw a line like this. Let me write over here. 30 degrees and then 45 degrees and then 60 degrees. Let me write over here sine, cosine and tangent. And uh, let me write over here sine of 30 degrees. Actually, I'm not using uh, 30 degrees and 45 degrees. My bad. Let me just go ahead and correct it. So let me just choose this thing and I'm erasing it like this and like this. Okay. All good. All clear. So now let me write pi by 6 and pi by 4 and pi by 3 and let me give a reminder to myself that I'm dealing with radians. And let me scroll up and let me write over here I'm dealing with degrees. So it's just a good idea to get you familiarized with it. Sine of pi by 6 is half. Cosine of pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. Tangent of pi by 6 is 1 over root 3. Similarly, when we talk about pi by 3 radians, this is root 3 over 2. This is half. This is root 3 over 1. This time I wrote a little bit faster. Why? Because I know that these two will switch places. And this will be the reciprocal of one another. And last but not the least, for pi by 4, this is 1 over root 2, this is 1 over root 2, and this is simply 1. So, not only 
have we calculated the exact trig ratios and by the way why do we call it exact let me explain to you in great detail first of all exact means either writing in fraction writing in the third form or writing in terms of pi for p1 level this is what is needed when we will go to p3 we will be dealing with anything in terms of e anything in terms of ln that will also be termed as exact so exact is this thing at the p1 level and uh, what about the word trig ratios the sign cos and tangent of different angles these values they are referred to as ratios since it's related with trigonometry they are called trigonometric ratios exact means no rounding off so we are not using a calculator well a number such as 0.5 which is half even if it's in decimals this is exact but if we have something like 1 over 3 which is 0.333 and so on it's not about the recurring decimals you have to round off to a certain level of accuracy maybe it's significant figures maybe it's uh, decimal places so it's not exact it's not exact it's inexact so therefore the examiner is very much interested in you people the students writing the answer in the exact form so that is some of the basic trigonometry that is needed for circular measure and that is needed in trigonometry also and this is from the perspective of p1 if i talk about the perspective of p3 we'll be using it in differentiation and integration and differential equations and we will be using in a topic which is known as numerical solution of equation but it's popularly termed as the iterative process or the iteration so that's all about it from my side until the next class take care